All right. What do you got for me? Another puzzle to test my brain? My massive brain? will be provided to you for this test. Boop. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, uh... a grab pack. That's all. Good luck. Uh... Okay, one. In this game used to have strings attached to them so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. You suck. Can't see anything. Oh God, I can't see anything. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, so I don't... Why am I... Why can't I play this game in the light? <laughs> Kick bricks, fuzzball. No. No. Nope. Denied. Okay, that one didn't scare me. It was just more frustrating than anything. I did a full spin. I couldn't see it. Ah, uh, come on. I can do this. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kind of feels like it makes very little difference having the brightness turned up, to be perfectly honest. Sometimes it seems like they come at me a lot faster than other times. Like, right out of the gate, they're coming at me a lot faster this time than they did the last time. Did I do it? I did it? I did it? You did it. I did it! Hooray! Mommy is so proud of you. Thank you, Mommy. Here. Mommy has another hint for you. Ooh. Presents from Mommy. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Mommy.
You can always come home with me. Again, you're still way better than the mother I have. <laughs> I could use a giant spider, Mom. That'd be great. Be able to reach stuff on all the high shelves. You'd beat up all the other adults. I wouldn't have to go to work because everybody would be scared of you. Be great. Hmm. Mostly tedious. I can't tell if I'm doing this right or not. There we go. I got it. Push the button to feed me candy. Candy cat. Hum, nom, nom. Feed me more. Got it. Hum, nom, nom, nom. No more candy. No more candy. No more. No more. All the candy. I want you to eat it all. Did I just blow up Candy Cat? That's not going to happen to you, Business Cat. But you're on a no candy diet just to be safe. Uh, no. Huggy Wuggy, no! Kissy Missy? Uh, you can't use that, can you? Uh, wait. So she just left? Why? Okay, I can squeeze through here. More vent time. Gotta love that vent time. Ooh, got another tape. Jacksepticeye! So? That's Jacksepticeye! What happened? You see, I was heading home for the day when my A virus realized that I left me bloody wallet in the cafeteria. So I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mop handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing. And the mob handle jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So I, I took a peek beneath the gate. And some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? You're sure it wasn't a person? It's no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. <laughs> Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I happened to bloody know what it was, but I wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. No, that's a bad call, Jack, except the guy. What? There's a massive bloody monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will ya? Actually, never mind. Get out of my sight. Hmm, see? That's the mistake that you made right there, because Jacksepticeye, I hear he has the best coffee. Hmm. Might have changed your life. Might have changed your perspective on reality. Hmm? Yeah. But, unfortunately, you, you turned down the chance. You blew it, buddy. You blew it. It's been a blast. Having my only friend and ticket out of here, being kidnapped by a giant spider mommy. Having a giant spider mommy dominate me and tell me that I have to call her mommy all day. It's been great. It's been... It's... Been really interesting, honestly. Okay... No. Oh, shoot. 
Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. Okay. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. Oh, no! PJ, no! Oh, that's relatable. And never come back. They left Mommy to die alone. Mommy didn't deserve that. But you, you worked here. So if anyone deserves to die alone, it's you. Now what did I do? I'm not even gonna look back at him. Not even gonna look back. Just gonna go. Just gonna go. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, run. Run and jump. Run and jump. Run and jump. Run and jump. Go, 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 come on, come on. just happened? Where did I go? I don't believe her. <laughs> hey! Get up! Come on! Get up! Wake up! Hey! First try! <laughs> Not even close. I actually won. <laughs> Mommy long legs and family. Don't make me sting you. I'll do it. You need to get out of here. <laughs> Just kidding. Go have fun. But, uh... Wait. Rippa. And I don't need that toy back because I hate Bunzo. Ah, crap. What just happened? Oh, it's way too quiet. Ah! I asked you to play fair, and you cheated! I hate cheaters! Now, we're going to play one last game! It's called Hide and Seek! Ten, nine, seven, six. Four, three, two, 
Oh, she's gonna kill the crap out of me. Missed one. I supposed to do? <laughs> and I think I just have to run. Oh my god! Three hours of puzzles for this? <laughs> this is terrifying! So I live up here now. She's gonna jump right back out at me, right? Okay, so I needed the one gear to get the furnace to make another gear that was almost identical to the first gear. Ah! I was gonna make a break for it! <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, I don't think she can get me in here. Darn you. I can feel it. I can feel the end of the story. Okay, so there is, I can either slide under the pipe and grab onto that thing and slide and just keep running, or I found a way where I could trick her, okay. I'm gonna trick her. <laughs> Through the door. Under the garden wall. You see what I did there? Oh, I hate it! I really hate this! Go! Hehehehe, <laughs> you dummy! <laughs> You might have killed me 25 times, but who's the, the smart guy now? Okay. Okay. I made it across. I'm pretty sure she's not actively chasing me right now because she blew past me. Okay, 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 all right, okay. Not great.
Oh no! Did you guys see that thing? Freaking Edward Scissorhand, Freddy Krueger, monster metal robot claw thing just came out and grabbed what was left of her and dragged her into the. And I. Okay, so we're. So that. So that's gonna be chapter three. So chapter three is gonna clearly be the worst of the ball, easily. <laughs> No question. <laughs> no, God, no. Whatever that was, no. I don't want to. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> oh, I love it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Did you kill her? Good. Board the train. We need to leave. Oh boy. So Poppy uh seems different now. Ah four, two, one, three. Then pull the whistle. Got it. Where's Poppy? I was so scared she put me back in that case. But you saved me. You are perfect. Too perfect to lose. I'm sorry. I can't let you leave. I've never met anyone like you. Oh? <laughs> Do you know how long I've been stuck in that case? Well, too long. I had so much time to think and reflect. Time to figure out exactly what I would do when free. Uh, Poppy? That's right. Terrible things have happened. But I know that whatever I need you to do, you're capable. Poppy, is there any chance that you could just send the train back and you and me can just go get a flat and just, you know, just pick up the spare bedroom in my house or start a small business together, maybe? For God's sake, please let me out of this toy factory. Oh! Break! Oh! Jeez! Way to screw up a perfectly good train. Good going. Smooth, real, real smooth. You lost Poppy. You broke the train. I really wanna believe that Poppy is not evil. She's such a cool character. I wanna believe that she's not evil, that keeping us trapped in the factory is just some kind of like a misunderstood thing. But I guess, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you guys will have to let me know what you think based on, you know, this playthrough and other playthroughs that you guys watch, your own experience playing the game. I'd be really curious to have a conversation with you guys about this. I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, I want to say, was definitely, definitely better than the first one. Much longer. Um... The wack a -wuggy was a nightmare <laughs> for me personally. But um, otherwise, 
I hope you guys like. I hope you subscribe. I hope you'll join me again next time for the next episode of whatever scary thing you guys talk me into playing. Uh, take care. Have a great day. Bye, guys.